Applying what we have learned is the very essence of education. Welcome to Amari Educates. For mathematics, made easy. Today we're going to discuss the applications of quadratic equations. Let us start by our first example. The product of two integers is 221. If the bigger integer is 4 more than the smaller integer, what is the sum of the two integers? Now let us say that the x is the smaller integer and x plus 4 be the larger or bigger integer. Take note, we get the x plus 4 because it state there that the bigger integer is a 4 more than the smaller integer. Next, we have this equation because it says that the product of the two integers is 221. We know that the x and x plus 4 are the integers. So we multiply them. We have x squared because x times x and x times 4 is 4x is equal to 221. We transfer the 221 on the other side, so the equation will look like this. x squared plus 4x minus 221 is equal to 0. We're going to factor this, and if you already forgot your factoring, please check out our other videos. So the factors will be x minus 13 times the quantity of x plus 17 is equal to 0. We're going to equate this to 0 and this one also to 0. So this is our two equations. Solving for x, we have x is equal to 13 and x here on this side is equal to 17. Now, since we said a while ago that x will be the smaller and x plus 4 will be the bigger or larger integer, we have this two numbers. So for x is equal to 13, the smaller is 13 and the larger is 17. On this part, we have x equal to negative 17 for the smaller and x plus 4 is equal to negative 13 for the larger. The question is, which of these two answers is the one that you're going to choose? The answer is both of them. Because from the, the problem, it did not state whether, are, whether we are just considering positive integers or negative integers. Therefore, we have to consider both. To answer the question, what is the sum of the two integers? The answer will be 30 or negative 30. Let's have our next example. The area of a rectangle is 91 square centimeter. If the length of the rectangle is 1 less than twice its width, find its dimension. Let us say again that x be the width of the rectangle. Therefore, the length, which state here, 1 less than twice its width will be 2x minus 1. Take note how it is written, 2x minus 1, because it says 1 less, meaning I will subtract 1 from twice its width. Okay? Now, the area of a rectangle is simply length times width. So, we just need to multiply this 2. And we have now the equation 91, which is the area, is equal to 2x minus 1, which is the length, and the x with the width. Distribute the x inside. We have 91 is equal to 2x squared minus x. We're going to transfer 91 here, so the equation will look like this. 2x squared minus x minus 91 minus 91, because we transfer, we change the sign, is equal to zero factor this out we have the factors are quantity of 2x plus 13 
times the quantity of x minus 7 is equal to 0. Again, we're going to equate this here and this one here. So it will look like this. 2x plus 13 is equal to 0 and x minus 7 is equal to 0. Solving for x, we have x is equal to negative 13 over 2 and x is equal to 7. Since we have two values again for x, are we going to consider them both? The answer is no. We are just going to consider x is equal to 7. Take note that the x here has negative and there's no such thing as a width with negative. Okay? So therefore, our width will be 7. 2x minus 1, which is our length, will be 13. To answer the question, we have the dimension of the rectangle will be 13 centimeter by 7 centimeter. Example number 3. A rectangular sheet of board is surrounded by a uniform width border. If the dimension of the sheet is 17 inches by 8 inches and the area without the border without the border is 52 square inches how thick is the border so this is how it looks like this will looks like this will be the border so this is our length and this is our width so if x is the border then Let's have again the formula of the area of a rectangle. It will become area, which is 52, without the border. And then this will become 17, which is the length here, minus 2x. Why is it minus 2x? Because there are two borders there. Okay? The same with the width. So we have 8 minus 2x because there are two borders. Okay, so we'll multiply this. So we're going to have a new equation, which is 52 is equal to 136 minus 50x plus 4x squared. So we're going to transfer this one here. And then we have 136. When we transfer uh, 52, it will become minus 52. And we have 84. So we have 4x squared minus 50x plus 84 is equal to 0. Now we could further reduce this. So we divide that by 2. So we have 2x squared minus 25x plus 42 is equal to 0. So factor this out. We have the factors will be the quantity of 2x minus 21 times the quantity of x minus 2. Equating both of this to 0, we have the new two equations here. Solving for x. So x is equal to 21 over 2 or 10.5. And the other x is x is equal to 2. Again, I would like to ask you, are we going to consider both of this? The answer is no. We are just going to consider that x is equal to 2. The reason behind this is that when we subtract 10.5 from 8, it will become negative. So, the answer only is the border is 2 inches thick. Let's continue. Sample 4. A cardboard with a 17 centimeter by 19 centimeter dimension will be used to make an open box by cutting the corners this corners equally and bending up the sides as shown below if the base area of the box will be 84 square centimeter find the value of x this is the base area only so this are this is the only part that we are going to consider for the area so let us continue. The length will become 17 minus 2x because this is the length. And we have to remove this part. Since there are 2, we're going to have minus 2x. 
while the width will become the same process we have to subtract 2x here okay since it's rectangle we're going to use that formula again and then we have 84 which is only this part when we remove this is equal to seven quantity of 17 minus 2x times the quantity of 9 minus 2x okay multiplying this the result will be 84 is equal to 153 minus 52x plus 42x squared transfer the 84 on the other side we have 4x squared minus 52x plus 153 minus 84 equal to is equal to 0 okay so we have now the 4x squared minus 52x plus 69 so this one is equal to 69 so it's equal to 0 let's have the factors of this so the factors will be two quantity of 2x minus 23 times the quantity of 2x minus 3 is equal to 0 equating this to zeros we have this equation okay solving for x on this side and on this side we have x is equal to 23 over 2 and x is equal to 3 over 2 again are we going to consider this if your answer is no you're correct we only need to consider this part again when we subtract 23 over 2 by 9 centimeter the result will become negative so the value of x is 1.5 centimeter or 3 over 2 this one only okay and then x okay this will be our final example a stone is thrown upward from a high mountain above sea level the equation h is equal to negative 16 t squared plus v sub 0 t plus 90 is the height of the stone after t seconds is used when will the rock be 119 feet above sea level if the initial velocity is 45 feet per second this is our equation for the height so let's uh, have the values of the h which is the height is 119 that's the one we are looking for and then the 45 is the initial velocity which is from the base from the formula that is 45 so the equation will be 119 is equal to 6 negative 16 t square plus 45 t plus 90 okay so let us transfer this one here so we have 0 is equal to negative 16 t squared plus 45 t plus 90 minus 119 so the equation will look like this once we subtract this two okay at this point what we're going to use is the quadratic formula where in our a is negative 16 our b is 45 and our c is negative 29 so using the quadratic formula we have the time is equal to negative 45 plus and minus the square root of the quant uh, 45 squared minus 4 times negative 16 times 90 all over 2 times negative 16 the time that we're going to the t value or the time is 1 and 1.8 okay that's okay so let us continue well thank you for watching please subscribe and share this channel helping others will make you better thank you once again and have a nice day Bye.